it was longer. Hi, everyone. Like, Welcome to State of the Game. Intro and I was like, <laughs> State of the Game 145. Oh it God. is the date of 29th of January. That's fun. Uh, we are just making, a good start. We're making sure that everything good is start. getting like plugged in and that we have everything to show you. Starting on an empty screen, I, that's perfect. That's fine. Uh, I joke, but uh, we made, really wanted to make sure that we get as much in to show you. George has hooked up a live build so we can show you some things in action, some spicy flames. This yeah. is our take on hot ones, I guess. We should have actually done that. We should have like got some like, you know, some what? Some spice, like some hot, some hot sauce, so we could be on theme. I've got uh, a missed opportunity. Mm. I think. Why? What, what do you, you not know understand? You know hot ones. You don't know hot ones. Hot ones, the YouTube show. No. They eat spicy wings and they interview and. How do you uh, not know? How? Yeah. Wow, Yannick in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, is I that, don't. That's like an internet thing. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to the stream. We're going to be uh, talking about episode three. You would have seen a trailer from last night. We can actually show that, right? Because mm -hmm. you might have you missed it. Um, yeah. And I think it's a pretty cool trailer. I want people to, to have another chance to That's... look at it closely because there's yeah. some things in there that, you know, if you uh, have followed the division through since <laughs> yeah. the start, you will understand why it's important. Do, right. Yannick doesn't know the internet. This is true. <laughs> uh, Avalon Leap spies Oof. the bombshell jackets mug. Yeah. Isn't that cool? And then gone. And then gone. Yeah. I've been, yeah. I've been forced to do some product placements. That's what we are this down true. to now. It's true. <laughs> uh, Flamethrowers, all that sort of stuff. I asked if we could have Nelly for our theme music today, but no one, we, we, no didn't one the, we didn't get the licensing uh, rights. No. no. <laughs> Somehow. I wanted to make a joke or a really inappropriate thing about taking off all my clothes. No. I get the song. I know okay, that. Okay, but all right. Fine. All right. Let's uh, let's take a look at the trailer for yeah, episode still doesn't know. three. Still lost. Enjoy the trailer for episode three. This is really cool. We're back in a sec. Yeah, it's coming. Ever since the virus hit, we've been hunting for a cure. We believe the scientist who can help us is being held on Coney Island. And by the looks of it, the Black Tusk have him heavily guarded. There's no time for caution, Agent. Get him out of there. Who dis? Who dis? Who dis? Whoa. People, which, which one? Uh, right at the end. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I like uh, Capo saying it's AA Ron. AA <laughs> Ron? <laughs> yeah. No? Have you seen that Key and Peel skit? No, of course. It, right. Of course, Yannick. I'm not even going to go Wait, down the internet. I'm not going to bother with Yannick. No, I mean, I know uh, if I pretend I understand the joke. Yeah, uh, there's that's a lot the of cool things thing in that do. trailer. The, um, yeah. Obviously, the flamethrower yes. is uh, something that people yes. end. Oh, yeah. Yannick was not subtle weeks ago when he was like, people have already guessed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, people have been saying this is like uh, something that they've been wondering and theory mm -hmm. crafting out there for a while. Is that something we're going to have to uh, the division? Yeah. Drew, is this something that's been, you know, on the development floor for a long time? Is something that has... Yeah. I mean, well, the idea, right, was yeah. something that from the very beginning, it was always something that yeah. we wanted to explore. Right? Yeah. I mean, it, it's, uh, it has such a kind of strong fantasy associated with it. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's also not something that you would, I think, typically it's not one of the things that comes to mind at first when mm -hmm. you think of what's in a division agent's arsenal, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was something that we really wanted to bring, but we thought it wasn't probably a good fit for, you know, like at the beginning, and we had some other specializations that we really wanted to roll out first because we felt like it fit that fan division agent fantasy a bit. And this one, obviously, we think still does. Mm -hmm. We took some time to kind of craft it and to, to make it into, you know, ours, like a, the division tech. 
um, and super happy with the result. Awesome. We're actually going to show uh, a bit of the yeah. build where we can play around with it. It's a dev build, so there's some things that yeah. are a little bit different from then how you'll experience it in the UI especially, so we'll show that to you in a little bit. But also, I would say that actually with the Flamethrower, of all the episodes, episode three is just the perfect one to bring in a, to bring yeah. the Flamethrower as well. Why yeah. is that, Yannick? You've seen the trailer. That's true. You know, there's yeah. no surprise here, but yes, we have cleaners. Yeah, that's true. I'm really psyched to see us jump back to New York. I, one. Really I cool. have to say, like, cleaners, New York, mm. such an iconic mm. uh, duo. I like, you know, I'm a little biased, obviously. Sure. But cleaners, my favorite faction. Cool. I did kind of take us off track for a bit. We do have some priority alerts to get to before okay. we yeah. dive deeper into the episode three stuff. So let's go with priority alerts before that. Yeah. All right, so if you've been to the stream before, you know that we like to get as much of the need-to-know information out of the way first so we can have some cool discussions. So there has been no planned maintenance for this week. Uh, we know that there are some issues I uh, saw people talking about on my stream yesterday as well. Clan XP not updating. Um, we see that and we're investigating that. Uh, the underlying cause of some of the blueprints not showing up uh, has been found. Um, for example, on the second or third agent after sharing blueprints via the perk, we're aware of that one. Uh, and we are working on that right now, and we're not sure if we'll be ready for episode three, um, but as we've talked about, there is something coming after episode three, uh, and that's all of the things we've been talking about in the previous weeks, so we'll get to that really soon. Okay. We also do know that YouTube is not currently accepting our stream. We're really sorry about that. We will make sure that we will find a way to get the VOD up there for everyone, because we know that a lot of people like to watch it there later on. So thank you for people uh, who usually watch on YouTube coming and letting us know. We've seen that we do have an issue on our side that is not making that happen. But Twitch and Mixer are up. So thanks for bearing with us on that. Is that the radar or Georgia's fault? <laughs> I'm not going to like <laughs> throw my team under the bus. I, uh, it's YouTube's fault. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm going to throw my team. I'll throw YouTube under the bus. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what are they going to do? Come at me? <laughs> they don't have much money. <laughs> Come at me, bro. All right. Um, all right. Sweet. So into a, a chat with you guys. I mean, you, you've been here over the previous weeks, Drew and, and Yannick. I mean, we've introduced yeah. you a, a bunch of times. Uh, you get three words to explain yourselves and what you do on the team. Three words. This is your new challenge. And it can literally be your job title. I already know your job. I, I'm Yannick. I have a beard. That's, that's, that's four. four. I know the character. Yeah. All right. You can't count. Uh, Drew. Hi, I'm Drew. I'm associate game director. I literally threw you such an easy one. Both of your titles have three words in them. It's yeah, true. exactly. I yeah, like, I can't, I can't yeah, still waste, messed I can't, it up. I got to waste so. my words just to give my title. Yeah. Well, 200 IQ. Um, okay, so yeah, like we we talked about Coney Island. Um, yeah. Has this always been part of the the plan as well, a return to New York, or is that kind of? I think it's something that we were always interested to do. I mean, it's. Uh, it's great that we got to explore a new area with Washington, with the Division Two. But you know, like as much as a lot of our players, we we've always been very attached to you know New York and the idea of New York. So mm. being able to go to Coney Island is scratching that itch, and that's something that's uh, you know that's always been uh, very interesting for us. Mm. Yeah, I mean, obviously New York is is such a big part of our franchise, right? Um, of course. Washington is now as well, of course, but because uh, that's the kind of the seat of power mm -hmm. and, what, and whatnot. But um, it's it's always kind of a, a fantasy, right? To uh, to to venture back a little bit yeah. and get a little taste of New yeah. York again. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm into that. So obviously, time has passed, and I know we're not going to go deep into the narrative stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's not winter anymore. No. Do you think? I mean, clearly, do you <laughs> no, think it's not winter yet? You know. I don't know, but like the snow... It's, like it's not winter anymore. But we, yeah, you know, but the snow that was iconic cyclic. in New York, do you think... Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it's a, is it a, much of a different experience for the player to experience it with a different season, was my question. Mm. How, do you, how do you think that's going to change? It's interesting. Well, I mean, if, you've, if you haven't, or if you have been to New York, I should say, in the summer, mm -hmm. hot, humid, right? Like, um, And I think like Coney Island, too, evokes kind of a stereotypical kind of New York summer experience in, in some regards, right? Yeah. So I think that that setting in particular, um, summer works really well with it. And I think especially you can get a little taste of it in the trailer. It's very moody, mm. right? Yeah. Like, to me, it's yeah. one of the more um, kind of exotic 
locales in a lot of ways that we've produced. And, you know, like the team that puts it together, yeah. like the, the world team, like yeah. did such a fantastic job. Looks like job. the lighting artists have been working overtime like, yeah. on that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. And like, there are so many cooler places that are not even shown off. Like, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's fantastic. It really uses like the full extent of yeah. what you would hope <laughs> to yeah. see it in Coney Island. Yeah, know? it feels very different when you step in there. And it's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of very unique spaces and unique things to look at. It's, uh, it's fantastic. That's cool. One of the uh, questions I saw come up from Gain Gamer Insanity, actually, uh, Ellis picked this one up as well. Can we blow cleaners up and make them fly back like in the first game? Is the physics still the same? Oh, hell yeah. Well, yeah. actually, so <laughs> here's the thing, right? So the cleaners, right, we really made sure, like it's been, what, eight months, mm -hmm. yeah. right? We killed Joe Farrell. Mm -hmm. He's dead. So mm -hmm. why are the cleaners still around, mm -hmm. right? Well, they've kind of changed. They've mutated. They've, they've kind of grown a little bit strange, mm -hmm. right? But, so we have some, not some zombies, upgrades though. to them. They're not zombies. Okay. No, they're people. Sure. But, uh, I mean, they're still the cleaners, right? Yeah. But we made sure that, yeah, okay, so they are a little bit more uh, tactical now than they were mm -hmm. before. They're a little more battle hardened, right? Because eight months has passed. But we made sure that those tanks are in the same position, <laughs> the same exact position yeah. that they were in Division One. Okay. So when that cleaner lowers that left shoulder and they mm -hmm. start running towards you, you can pop it, hit nice. it, have them freak out, and then explode. That's cool. They've been like yeah. fighting Division agents for months. They're a bit more still hardened, don't learn. But they still don't learn. But they still don't learn about the field tip. <laughs> no. yeah. Why do we keep dying? Yeah. I, I don't know. So yeah. They keep getting us. I don't know. That's some JTF IQ. Mm. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> um, so Damn. the first visit, we do have some things to take a look at today, and I, I want to get to those because I like yep. showing pretty things. There's a couple of new main missions, the Coney Island Ballpark and the Coney Island mm -hmm. Amusement Park. Can we take a look at some pretty pictures? I, uh, I want to see this. Ooh. Mm. So this is what I was talking about with the lights, right? You, yeah. Have, yeah. Uh, you have a lot of, uh, you know, depth fog. I mean, I don't know if that's exactly what we're doing here, but, you know, there's a lot of... Um, yeah. Is it depth fog? Well, no, but you know that, it's, that <laughs> it's not depth fog. Uh, but, but you know very, I mean? It is now. Very scientific term. We'll call it depth fog. It's fine. But you know what I mean? Like, uh, there's obviously a lot of, um, oh, why am I forgetting the word? Anyway, I'm not, I'm not the uh, developer here. But yeah, it looks, it looks dope. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, in our, our engine renders the, the bouncing of the lights mm -hmm. yeah. super well, right? With yeah. our global illumination. Like, mm. uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Mm. I really like it. Uh, that looks sick. Yeah, this one is just, uh, it's just amazing. More photos for sure. Yeah. It just makes you want to go in, you know. Mm. I yeah. do wonder, though, if the lights are on, mm. who's powering them? Well, not all power is lost, right? Mm. So, um, it, as people may remember, because I think we've probably talked about this at some mm -hmm. point, so we've sent, like, groups of people, right, like, essentially researchers, out to... Uh, New York with the first game, and then Washington yeah. D.C. with the second game, and they talk to all sorts of like first responders, all sorts of people that work in with like the infrastructure of the uh, municipalities, like all of that stuff. They talked about what would happen if uh, in a disaster mm -hmm. scenario, like what would be the first things that go? Would there still be power? If there was power, how would it be generated? Mm -hmm. And and all of that stuff. So um, so the fact that like there are lights here and there are lights. Um, elsewhere, like if you remember in Div One and Div Two, there are lights here and yeah. there. Uh, that's actually all like fairly realistic in this mm -hmm. scenario, yeah. um, and, and, and fairly well. It's uh, it's actually really cool to see. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not as if everything would suddenly go dark and uh, yeah, nothing right. would work. Like there are some a few independent sources that can work on their own. Yeah, that's right. And someone is saying, "Hey, remember we turned on the power at Times Square?" That's exactly right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, okay. True. Yeah. Volumetric lighting was the term I was uh, thinking of before. That's that's exactly actually the correct term. That's that's yes. what I was thinking. Very good. Um, but it looks like, <laughs> and also now that you have flames to kind of light up the, you know, yes, the yeah, ambience, you can so, make light. Yeah, sick. And your flamethrower, right? <clears throat> exactly. Ah. Speaking of new specialization, firewall. Firewall. Um, yep. Taking it to the cleaners with their own, uh, you know, fight fire with fire. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. I didn't even. I don't even. I didn't even plan that messaging, but there you go. <laughs> there you go, the tagline, episode three, fighting fire with fire. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Um, but, but seriously, that's, uh, I don't know, it's a really cool dynamic. Yeah. yeah. There's uh, some things that we're going to show off in a live demo in a sec. There's some ways that yeah. there's some cool gameplay interactions with that. There's, 
all sorts of cool things with yeah. shields and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, side arms, and we'll show you that in a sec. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Obviously, there's uh, two new classified assignments for those that do have the year one pass. Yep. We've yes. got the detention center and the nightclub yep. infiltration. Yes. Do we have images for those ones as well? Can we have a quick look at those? Because more pretty pictures yes. people were wanting to take a look at. That doesn't look like a nightclub to me. No. I'm pretty yeah. sure that's the that detention center. That is the worst nightclub if it's a nightclub. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it's looks a very like a pretty... heavily themed nightclub. Then. Yeah. Well, Back in know. Yannick's day, because he's an old man, that's what Before we had the internet. Like. That's, some, yeah. that's some hipster as nightclub. And we would go clubbing. <laughs> yeah. And, ooh, okay. Nightclub. So yeah. that's, that's a bit more of a nightclub, yeah. So I think, obviously I don't want to give too much away, hmm. but what I think this uh, image does not capture is actually, again, how beautiful the lighting is. Yeah. yeah. Like in the, the nightclub, it's... Uh, Oh, it's fantastic. Yep. Yeah. 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 I don't want to spoil anything, but it's a, it's a mm -hmm. cool experience moving through that nightclub. There's a lot. So we have a new exotic. I think we're going to show that to you a little bit later after. Or do you want to show it now, George? Should we? Sh well, we'll kick off with the exotic. I, 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 I want to show it. So we showed some footage of the chameleon a uh, yeah. couple of weeks ago No, I think. Uh, two weeks ago, right? All right. Actually, yeah. we, can, we can bring that up. Let's take a look at it actually in yeah. the game. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Now you can actually see the talents. I can't read them yeah, from here. Yeah, check it out. But, uh, yeah. It's too small. It's, it's very small. There you go. Adaptive instincts. Yeah. That sounds cool. Headshots. That's nice. I'll let, uh, I'll let chat go well with that. Mm. That's very cool done. Um, I'm trying to see what else we got on here. Is there anything else we're missing, George? Down the bottom there? Okay. Okay. Is that a mag with a with with fan on it? Does it have like a CPU like I mean like an intake fan? We need we need <laughs> Thailander to, to tell us what's going on. Yeah. It does look like that, yeah. That's cool. Thanks, yeah, it's George. really cool. I mean yeah. it's obviously it's an AR, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice CPU yeah. cooler on your mag, yeah, yeah. exactly. So if we can go back to the talent a bit and uh, comment a bit on that. Um, so yeah, I can't read it from here, but it's uh, the idea is that you you really have these three different buffs. And I can, can read it for you, uh, Yannick. Okay, you want to get close? And yeah, read Adaptive it. Instincts. Hitting 30 headshots grants 20% critical hit chance and 50% critical hit damage for 45 seconds. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, hitting 60 body shots grants 100% weapon damage for 45 seconds. Hitting 30 leg shots grants yeah. reload speed, 150%. So the cool thing is that mm. they're not, they not uh, mutually exclusive, right? So you can build each yeah. one of them up at the same time. So then it's really about kind of timing. If you want to try to stack all three buffs, you know, at once, or if you want to just like go with whatever, you know. So it's a, there's a fun mechanic here in timing and trying to, uh, to trigger the buffs at the right moment and aiming there for different parts of the NPCs. So it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to play with. Um, Badger Tough, we, there's a lot of questions, obviously, about how that works if there's other things like internal cooldowns about how often that can proc and that sort of mm -hmm. thing we'll, we'll yeah. pose those to Frederick and yeah. and let you know if we have any additional information yeah. on that but that's all we have for that <laughs> people are already like uh, preparing bills for it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. good I love when you theory craft mm -hmm. it makes me so happy um, okay uh, oh I actually had all those things written down uh, oh, and we, <laughs> we showed you last time that it changes based on the color of the environment. If you missed that stream a couple oh, yes. of weeks ago, it's really cool. Like if you mm -hmm. go around different environments that have more of a certain color, yeah. basically the weapon shader looks at all of these places and it's like, what's the dominant color and yeah. Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. So I see a lot of uh, people asking, how do you get the gun? Uh, yeah. we've, we've decided we're not going to tell you, so you can find out. Hmm. Well. Nicky knows, and he didn't want us to tell you. I, okay, I wanted right. to take, uh, take the blame on the team. <laughs> <but> <laughs> yeah. okay. Nicky Cookins? Is Nick, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nicky, uh, make Nicky. sure to send him a tweet. Nicky told us we know how to get it, but he asked that we keep it as a surprise. There so. you go. Yeah. Uh, I think now it's about time to go and burn some stuff. Let's do it. Yeah, you're into it? Yeah. Um, and right. then we're going to go back and take a look at uh, some of the... No, actually, let's, let's do it this way around. Can we take a look at the talent tree? I'll let Drew use the controller here to, um, to kind yeah. of flick through some stuff. Again, like I said before, this is dev build, so the numbers yeah. are funky. Obviously, you can't have more than 100% of a certain thing. And I've seen some uh, comments about the, uh, the yeah. gamepad. Mm -hmm. We're rocking an OG <laughs> yeah. uh, Xbox 360 gamepad here. 
That's how uh, we. That's how we roll. It's new gen. Nothing but the best for state of the game. Apparently. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna have to full screen that one yeah. so we can kind of see what's going on. Obviously, two two five out of one sixty five is not the way things work for this dev build. You can actually do all sorts of stuff, and you won't yes. be in the final version able to get every weapon. Yeah, exactly. Thing, for example. All right, so let's go here. Want me to talk through this? Please. So obviously, right before we even begin, the kind of idea behind the firewall spec is it's all about getting up close and personal, right? So obviously, a flamethrower has limited range. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's uh, just under 15 meters or something like that, uh, which you know, in in the Division Two, actually feels quite quite close. Uh, so this is all about getting up and close and personal, but it also means, which you'll see with the skill mod, that there's a lot of cool synergies yes. with some skills here. Mm -hmm. so, um, so with this uh, striker shield, um, it allows you to actually use your flamethrower and the shield at the same time, which means you can get up close and personal with enemies. Yeah. The other cool thing about that is, sorry, let me find it here. Um, so allies that are nearby you all deal extra damage if they're, mm -hmm. if they're nearby, right? And so the idea behind this is it's kind of the fantasy of, you know, one guy with a shield coming in, everyone else kind of grouping around and yeah. following the guy with the shield. 10% mm -hmm. damage is nothing to scoff at. That's, yeah, yeah, that's I mean, a lot. Can yeah, yeah. It can, be, uh, it can be pretty powerful. Applied mm -hmm. to the whole team, so. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty cool. Um, and you also see here, so, right, like you need to get in close. So there's a cover to cover uh, bonus armor here. And that's allow going to allow you, if mm -hmm. you're far away, to yeah. kind of do cover to cover moment, uh, movement to kind of get nearby. Cool. I just do see some people uh, pointing out in chat that the available points is at negative 222. Like we said, this is a dev build. So this isn't yes. how it's going to be in the yes. uh, no, no. final version that we, you uh, see. We basically cheated our way into having everything. And uh, it. Our game doesn't display that super yep. well uh, in the dev build. All right, what else you got in here? There's a sidearm as well? Yeah. We do have a sidearm. Before I talk about okay. the sidearm, so I want to talk about fire response. Mm -hmm. So on armor break, you basically light everyone around you on fire. And in a, it's a small radius, right? And so the idea here is like... So when you're armor You have like yeah. a slight protection okay. against like melee rushers and people like that who are kind of annoying when mm -hmm. you have like a shield. And stuff like that. So if anyone kind of flanks you, comes from behind, whatever, yeah. um, and you kind of get in that dangerous moment, you're kind of protected for a, for a Hold few up. seconds. Hold on. Theory crafting. Yes. Dogs on people who are annoyed with shotguns. Yes. And those shotguns getting in close, is that going to affect those people, I would imagine? 100%. Interesting. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Uh, someone asking, uh, this is coming for the upcoming update, not for Loot 2.0. So this is coming yes. in episode three, yes, in which episode is coming three. in... February. Yes. Yep. Um, for those that have the year one pass holders, the narrative content that we pointed out before, the uh, main missions and classifieds. Yeah. Can you is, am I, correct me if I'm wrong? Those are available one week earlier yes. than they are for people yes. who don't have the year That's one pass. Right. Great. But both everyone community wide will be able to play the stuff both in those, February. Both of those dates are in February. So hint, hint. work backwards from there. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, the sidearm, called Firestarter. So, this one is cool, because one, it's a double barrel shotgun, yeah. which are always fun, but it actually applies a debuff that makes, um, I don't know, do we actually have it, George, in their inventory, or I can yeah. just talk about it, it doesn't matter. Let's take a look. Nice. The sidearm's pretty cool, yes. uh, because basically, we apply a 50% burn resistance for five seconds if we hit an enemy with this. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you can chain it together with your flamethrower. Yeah. Now, that includes uh, enemies that are completely immune to burn. So Ooh. you can take someone completely immune to burn, hit them, take away their immunity, nice. put them at 50% resistance, mm -hmm. and then light them on fire. And that doesn't have to be just flames from your flamethrower. Oh, it, it, it could be a flame turret. could be... Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, it's uh, it's uh, it's pretty powerful. Mm. Nice, I like that one. And also, that's a cool model. Yeah, it looks like a, yeah. I'm a I'm a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> no, just me. That's really cool. Exactly. 
Nice. Um, yeah, what else cool. do we need to see on the specialization tree? There was a grenade people were asking oh, about. Yes, yeah. yes. The, the last thing, uh, yeah. which is super cool. I guess I can uh, open it here. Yeah. I don't know if you know, but someone is asking if it's 50% like of their total, or is it a 50% decrease of the... Like if someone yeah. has... Has over 100. Yeah, if someone idea. has 80, do they go down 40 or do they go down to 30? No, they go down to... Uh, is it halved or is it removing 50% from whatever they're That talking? is a great question. We will check the math. Uh, you might not know because I that's pretty... I actually uh, don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. That's a great question. Uh, I bet, uh, you know, obviously Frederick would know. Yeah. Uh, Adrian would know. Um, we'll find out. We'll yeah. find out. <laughs> um, so, the other super cool thing about this is a brand new grenade type, which is the cluster grenade. Yeah. So, throwing the cluster grenade it kind of has a bunch of, you know, it's a cluster bomb, so a bunch of pieces kind of fall mm -hmm. out and they explode. It's super fun to use. Um, and maybe we can see that in action with George. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And last but not least, actually, is there anything? I mean, there's lots of cool stuff, like getting signature ammo. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. all about killing things within yeah. close range. You get more mm -hmm. sig ammo yeah. mm -hmm. for you and your buddies. Yeah, let's do weapon mod. Uh, so... It's a tactical short grip, and I think if we look at that one, it gives you crit, I think. We can go take a look at that. Let's take a look. Actually, do you want to navigate, George? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's going to be a lot of flames flying everywhere. You can see a lot of people like being like the pyromaniac, or uh, I'm interested to see what other people leverage to get as much fire flying around as possible. There you go. Yeah, so it's 10 plus 10% crit, crit hit damage. damage. Yes. Okay. Yep. Nice. Uh, the mid Hope kit? Hope those crit builds. Is there a mid kit in the... Uh... Yeah, I, uh, I forgot to go over that, actually. So the mid kit's really cool. So it, it also supports that, uh, that fantasy of kind of getting up in close personal mm -hmm. because it actually it's kind of a, a slower heal, mm. but it heals you up to 200% of your... Uh, current armor. Okay. But it happens over time. Mm. So if you so, know you're going to take damage, you can... Mm. Yeah, so what that means is as you take damage, it'll kind of regenerate up mm. to the point of the value that's twice your armor over, yep. I think, was it 10 seconds, I think? Yeah. Cool. So, someone, a uh, map in chat saying she sure, sure looks like Stone. <laughs> Our agent with the, that sick mustache. Yes. I hope Stone's <laughs> watching. All right, should we go out and burn some things? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Um... No, very, very cool. I'm uh, very much enjoying being able to talk about mm -hmm. this. Yeah. I love it. Um, what are you most excited about for episode three, Drew? Have you actually had a chance to play through all the missions and... Yeah. 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 We can't give I any mean, spoilers, but... Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I, I think, to me, the, the, the coolest thing is kind of the... I feel like the story's going somewhere. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm. That, to me playing through the main missions and kind of yeah. seeing the, the story take kind of a, a leap of ahead because episode one and, and two are kind of uh, building up to something. Yep. And I feel like this is, okay, now I know where this is going. Yeah. Mm. And obviously you have to kind of play to figure out exactly what that means. I don't want to give that away, but yeah. Uh, yeah. But do you think if people have played Division One, they'll recognize some Yeah, I think... Uh, I think there's some definite callbacks yeah. to uh, some unresolved things yeah. in uh, Division One, perhaps. Yeah, and some... people have spotted Chanenko already in the trailer, right? So, hmm, what does it mean? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, someone's asking about the hunters. Uh, about you know, is it just lore and masks? We're going to have a chance to experience hunter AI, and you know, that was kind of your thing in Division One, and obviously mm -hmm. the hunters are your babies, weird babies. <laughs> uh, but but okay. they are. Yeah. Uh, do yeah. you, will we see more of that kind Precious of hunter stuff in the future, or maybe not in episode three in the future? Come on, what? No. Okay. You got anything? You know what? Whatever. There will be more hunters in the future. I'll just. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. We're just making I balls was, for drama, you know. I was just going to say, no, I don't want to, like, we can't talk about that right now, but you know what? Screw it. Why don't you just do a dramatic chipmunk, Drew, just like... <laughs> We're going to have more hunters in the future. And I'm into it. 
and an update that's coming uh, after episode three. Cool. I like it. Thank you. Um, okay. So can you just reiterate um, the things about what people can get if they do or do not own the year one pass? Yannick, please. Okay. I just want to make sure that we so, are clear on that. Episode three is coming out, right? It comes out with title update seven. Great. Title update seven, all the changes, bug fixes, improvements, and everything that we do with that comes out at one point. Mm -hmm. Date A, mm -hmm. which I cannot say, but date A. Mm -hmm. On date A, <laughs> year one pass owners can also start playing the missions, mm -hmm. right? And then seven days later, date B, everybody mm -hmm. else gets to play the missions. Mm -hmm. Both dates are in February. Both dates A and B are in February. Yeah. Let's see some That's, math. Yes. Cool. <laughs> uh, Specialization, everything, all about is date A. Great. Right. But year one pass. Just the missions that are. Year one pass access. gets to unlock them directly. Okay. Non year one pass have a, a special field research that they yeah. can complete in order I, to unlock yeah. it. I know. Like we're saying date A. Um, we, we can only tell you, we can, we can tell you right now. Yes. Sorry about it. But that, we'll, that we'll is as much as we can tell you right now. Yep. And we'll have more information. Yes. Yes. But coming up. Very obviously. soon. You'll know soon. Obviously. You'll know yeah. soon. All right. Georgie, ready? Can we burn some stuff? Yeah. All right, uh, let's uh, go and take a look at what George is getting up to on the other side of the room with some uh, the flamey boy. Uh, have you done anything we need to highlight here, George? You don't have, I think you have unlimited ammo so we can showcase some stuff? Yeah, yeah okay, it looks cool. like it. Um, I've got the new uh, shield on as well. Again, yeah, yeah. just, just uh, so people know this is mm. For demonstration purposes only, so you can get an idea of the flavor of how this all works. Yeah. Um, so yes, this is a dev build, a work in progress developer build. So do keep that in mind. But we want to show you as much oh. as we can, as soon as we can. Yes. Get that one. <laughs> nice. It's perfect with a rusher. Yeah, I was saying. <laughs> that, that poor rusher didn't even stand a chance. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, George is. Oh. <laughs> Did you? Have you played this game before, George? <laughs> Do you feel the pressure of everybody Look. watching you? Look, George is just trying to show you how this new med kit works. Ah, ah I see. No, yeah. He's so doing George his takes job. damage, you'll see. He's uh, yeah, regenerating his armor. Yeah. George uh, knows So that's going to last doing. for 10 seconds. Yes. Do not come at my team like that. George, George is a, a, a beautiful flower that knows what he's doing. Um, OK, very cool. Um, so did we have a chance to look at the sidearm yet? In two seconds, <laughs> George is quietly um, freaking out on the. Uh, try not to make a fool of myself. Of okay, here we go. Because you can do the sidearm with the shield, right? And then probably switch. I was going to say probably works better with a shield. Yeah. Very cool. <clears throat> you can't wait to see this in the dark zone. Oh, me too. It's mm -hmm. gonna be cool. Oh, yeah, that is a good question, Buzz. Uh, what's the halo in front of his character once he has the shield deployed? You know that little yeah. area of effect indicator? Oh, yeah. What is that telling us? Yeah. The, the cone? Yeah. yeah. Do you so, want to yeah. go for it? Uh, so there is, uh, I just can't remember what the effect is, but that's, uh, is that the damage bonus when uh, enemies are in, yeah, that's in right. that cone, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. That's, that's one of the... That's, that's it's the one effect of, the, of that shield mod, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you look at the, uh, which uh, as soon as George is done yeah. making, can, uh, uh, making s'mores right. out of mm -hmm. hyenas. Do we, do we have the actual proper text here so I can... Uh, yeah, there are, there are some bugs. Um, we've noticed also that some NPCs in this build, this again isn't the build that is going out, this is one of our internal builds, uh, where some NPCs aren't getting the on-fire effect. So you may have seen that. Yeah. So basically, the, that shield mod gives you uh, and your allies a damage increase. And the buff strength is uh, increasing with the amount of enemies that are in, um, in that cone in front of you. Interesting. Basically. Very cool. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this plays out in a group as well with that 10% that damage buff to your, to your friends. Yes. So what I think is really cool, right, is like I think there can be some really cool synergies with group play here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially those players that like yeah. really uh, can figure out good ways to kind of stick together. Mm -hmm. Do you have the grenade equipped, George? Yeah, pop out a grenade. Yeah. George is like, let me play. George's uh, YouTube credibility is really intrinsically tied to his gameplay performance here. 
Pressure's on, dude. Woo! I love explosions. Once, uh, once these guys are all uh, toasted, I actually just want to see the grenade kind of close up. Maybe you could yeah. throw one out close to you so we can see exactly how that looks. Cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, do you have the, um, the chameleon in your infantry as well, George? Yeah. Uh, some people are asking if we can get a quick look at that. Maybe once you find a, a safe spot. <laughs> George has just really kicked a hornet's nest here. We, oh, yeah. oh, you're trying to burn the RC car. Good luck. Nice. We need a George cam. He's kind of he's kind of freaking out. I like that. No one asked uh, that. D Dark Skull. Uh, okay, I'll leave, I'll leave it up to chat. Do you want to see the chameleon in action? I'm pretty sure uh, some people were asking for that. Uh, how about this is a good question from Onsley. Uh, how about four guys running the specialization side by side? Does everyone get that same 10 percent buff? Uh, like on top of the buff, but or can it only affect you once? I am not a hundred percent sure how it works. Okay. Yeah. So I don't want to. I don't want to mislead with the yeah. with the wrong answer. It would seem. That I, I totally understand the concern. It would seem a little OP if you could run forty percent damage all the time. Yes. Sounds, on everything yeah. that you're running. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I don't know that we have gameplay audio being oh, no sent. Audio. Oh, there's no audio. Um, okay. I can, if people want to keep looking while, while George is doing that, I'll see if I can f fix that for you so you can hear some stuff. <laughs> Chase Yussi is asking if Coney Island is going to be an area playable in free room or if it's just the missions. No, it's the missions. It's the missions, but they cover a lot of the, uh, the Coney Island surface, so you're going to get to explore a lot uh, of that place through the missions. There we go. Look out for that medic. Sorry, Chad. No, no, no uh, audio for you today. Um, no? no? We can't? No, no, Damn it. I mean, unless I go in and... No, no, no. Mm -hmm. There you go. Very cool. I like it. I'm glad you, uh, we actually got to show off um, those things in a live yeah. environment. Because you can't yeah. really get the, the whole idea of what these things look like if you just yeah. read it through mm -hmm. text, right? Yeah, exactly. It's cool to look at the specialization tree as well. But again... I like seeing seeing these things in action. Exactly, and you know nothing against George, but <laughs> if you know how to use the the specialization, it can be super powerful. That is so passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just wanted to throw something in that didn't sound. Well, it didn't sound. You I know, like that. Felix was trying to be nice there. and say, "Yeah, George is not so great with a controller. He's playing with mouse and keyboard right now." <laughs> <laughs> I know offense, George, but Drew thinks you're trash. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, no, awesome. Thank you so much for uh, you, showing us how this thing works, George. In all seriousness, it's very cool. Yes, um, thank It's you. nice to have someone else in the room that yes. can, can take us through all of these things. Uh, is there anything else we want to get to on the firewall specifically? I think we've taken a good look at it. Yeah. So I think we're, I think we're good. Yeah. Um, we did mention before that the focus for episode three, there's a lot of cool lore nuggets in there for you. I'm still waiting on the Collecting What Remains mm -hmm. Episode 3 yeah. podcast. Tinks, please get Deep Fried Dave out of retirement. We need it. Oh, they did two episodes of the best podcast yes. ever. Yeah. The best podcast in the world that's ever been made. Mm -hmm. Two episodes. Please. I need more. You have reasons <laughs> to make more, I promise. Uh, make it happen. I see, I see people in chat asking about the Honey Badger. So yeah. mm. you probably need to mention it because, yes, it's in the trailer. And yes, uh, Honey Badger will be coming as a normal weapon uh, with Episode 3. Cool. So it's not an exotic or whatever. It's just a new normal weapon type. Very cool. There's, uh, there's more, stuff, more stuff happening. Um, yeah, I talked about the lore stuff. And then, yeah, you, you, you've seen all the things. But that is coming in February for everyone. Yes. And then there's all the other stuff we've been talking about in the f past few weeks that is coming after that TBD. Um, we have some agent highlights I really want to take a yep. look at today, so let's go and take a look at those. Remy telling me that this podcast isn't going to happen? Ah, come on. No, apparently not. All right, time for some uh, agent highlights. There's a story there. Okay, the first one that we have uh, is coming from, I think, 
the first one up we have is T-Chan Art. We're going we're gonna to take a look at that in a second. But I'm, every time that we dive deep into what's going on out on there on the internet with what people make division related, there's always some cool nuggets. We got it? All right, let's take a look. T-Chan Art. Oh, nice. I love the hacky sack sick of so great. much. Uh, Teaching Art is a, an illustrator from Taiwan and does cool. all sorts of cool oh, illustrations, really, really cool. not just division related. So mm -hmm. if you go over to obviously the Twitter, Teaching yeah. Art, or post a lot of work on Reddit as well under, you know, slash you slash Teaching 114. Mm -hmm. uh, very, 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 very cool. And kind of humorous, which I like. Yes. Don't, don't, don't do, you know, seek a hacky sack at yeah. home, kids. Yeah. I like uh, the touch of color on each one of them. Me too. Cool. Yeah. Nice. I love it. I'm going to go and check yeah. out some more. But we've got Boss as well with uh, more cosplays. I love it. Uh, also, have you guys ever played Airsoft? Yeah. Yeah. You guys, really? I, I mean, I haven't. I'm, I'm not saying it. No, like, like don't feel peer pressure to say I yes. Did, I did okay. it once. All right. Uh, but uh, Boss uses like the division cosplay whilst mm -hmm. playing airsoft, and I think that's super cool. That's mm -hmm. super cool. Yeah, that's super like, cool. That's that's badass. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I now I need to see more than just pictures, and I want to see some video yeah. of this happening. Super cool. Right. Um, I like the use of cover as well, and the accuracy of the cover pose is uh, just like the agent. That's very cool. I really like it. Um, so all the way from Fukushima, hey boss, that's a uh, that's super cool. I have to say, cosplay community in Japan is strong. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Super it strong. Yes, it is. Yep. Really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to have a, like a Japan cosplay versus Russia cosplay showdown at some point. <laughs> Just saying. Tough. Just saying. Um, Are you asking for one or? Not really. But that one is like hurt international <laughs> relations at all. That's not what I'm calling for. But um, no, I'm always like consistently like blown away by what people mm. manage to churn out with their cosplays, like from. Yes. The whole outfits to the tiny details of like three D printed and wired up lights. No, it's it's, like, it's, mm -hmm. it's yeah, and actual yes. seeker mines that roll around. And mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you still remember the first time we we're at E3 and, and Dave showed up with his seeker mine and people were like freaking yeah. out and super cool. <laughs> Love yes. it. Very very cool. Fun. Yes. Uh, so thank you again uh, for those agent highlights. If you do want to share your creations with us, just hashtag agent highlights on Twitter. We love to see them. And um, it doesn't have to be. I, I know people are like oh you know. There must be a lot of cosplay on here and a lot of like incredible art, but it can be anything. Mm. Um, totally. Anything yeah. division related that you want to share with us, we would love to hear a rock opera. That's my next request. <laughs> you guys got any uh, right. agent highlight requests? No? Come on. Think outside the box. I believe in you. Nothing? Come on. I was thinking like, um, I don't know. I want to see Hamish doing Fei Lao. It's been done. Cosplay again. Yeah. Again. Yeah, again, yeah. No. It's really cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But did you do it with the eye patch? Yeah. I did. I haven't done it on stream, but uh, <laughs> it'll happen again. You need um, to do it again. Everyone that was involved in that, Fox and, and Little Bird and, mm -hmm. and, yeah. um, and Matt spent the shield. Uh, that was really cool. So yeah. we'll, we'll dust it off at some point. <laughs> there's, yep. some actual, there's actually some video footage of that that we've never shared. Just saying. Nice. Mm -hmm. So uh, I nice noticed. Too. Yeah. yeah. By the way, I noticed there was a couple comments um, which we haven't talked about yet, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. People asking about heroic. Mm. Is it always just the black tusk? You got any news on that one? I do. Ooh, I can knew that you did. <laughs> Please tell uh, us. <laughs> so <laughs> heroic. No, I don't. I just uh, wanted to bring it up. And, uh... Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, heroic mm. is going to be available. Later update, mm -hmm. of course, after. Post episode three. Epithrope, yep, exactly. Yes. Um, all factions, not okay. just Black Tusk. So you can play Heroic with any faction. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. So well, I don't that. think we've mentioned that, but I saw that Spoon. comment come up a few times. So just to clear that up. Nice. No, yeah. I like that. Uh, any other nuggets to drop? Uh, and, and I do see a lot of people there's in... many more. Uh, yeah, there's them. a lot more we can say. But. I do see people in chat uh, talking a lot about PvP. I do want to know that we see... I do want you to know that we yeah. see you and we hear you. And oh, we yeah, know absolutely. that that's a yes. constant conversation yeah. that needs to be had. Yes. The, uh, Have we, we talked about the, the right schedule of uh, what we're talking about next week, by the way? Can we? No, it's not about what we're going to talk about next week. It's one of the points. <laughs> it's in your points. Is it no, one of the not. points? I don't have it. It is. 
It's Did you there. steal? It's there. Uh huh. Well, oh, I know George, what we're talking about next week. No. George does. Okay, here we go. On the saga of George not knowing how to do numbers, <laughs> these are numbered one, two, three, five, four. Well, you just messed them up then. That's not my problem. One, two, three, five, four. Next week's show will be providing a narrative update of the events in Division One's universe so far. So everything from TD One. That's to, right. Yeah. To current day, because we want to get people caught up before we yeah. dive in. Yes, exactly. So it's going to be really cool. Mm -hmm. John Bjorling is going to be on. Great. Uh, our narrative director. Yeah. Um, he can talk through, kind of, all of those things. How it kind of the context of uh, episode three, why it matters, yeah. mm -hmm. why we're kind of yeah. going there, all of that stuff. Yeah. We do agree that the PvP conversation needs to happen. Yeah. Like yes. You are definitely, uh, you know, we are aware. Yeah. One hundred percent. And we'll have some. Yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll definitely have that conversation. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. It's a, there's some things to talk about, definitely. Uh, yep. yeah, we yeah. just have to do it when the timing is right and we can actually tell you the yes. things that are valuable yeah. to that PvP experience. Yeah. Yes. Um, because episode three, there are... Uh, there are no PvP no updates PvP uh, for episode no. three. Right? Okay. No. There you go. So, yeah. uh, we will tell you about that PvP stuff when yes. we can. All right, thank next you. Next week, especially for all the uh, lore nerds and story uh, mm. enthusiasts in there, Going to be the one to uh, to join. Absolutely. I mean, they probably if they're alone, they probably know they know that already? But they might have questions. Well, it might true. be an opportunity to actually uh, yeah. yeah clarify some things. That's true. Come, I, I want to play a game like you know we should quiz John. Yeah, like that'll be fun. Let's let's, let's yep. do that. All right, thank you everyone for coming by today to the stream. We're going to be back again next week, as we said in February, which literally starts this weekend. Yes, doesn't it? Oh man, that's crazy. Saturday mm -hmm. is the start of February, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The calendar. But so from Saturday on, it's, you know, counting down the days until we get to episode three. It's going to be uh, it's going to be really cool. It's coming. It's going to be great. All right. Thank you, everyone. We will see you again next week. We've got streams as well on this channel. So make sure, I mean, gameplay streams. So make sure you come by and hang out and chat with us about what you're thinking, your theory crafting, early ideas about what you're going to do when episode three comes around and you get to light everything on fire. All right. Have a good one. See you. See you. Bye.